So before the hike, we're gonna have an all-you-can-eat buffet. I think that's supposed to have the barley there, regular rice. That is jajang sauce. And then different herbs here. And then you add with different wraps. And even sweet potato. Different ways to eat it. They're eating it wrap style. My dad is focusing on the jajang rice. My mother is doing a hybrid bibimbap, but I'm going straight bibimbap. It's an all-you-can-eat buffet, so you can start whichever way you want and finish whichever way. I like how they have lots of different proteins available here, because most bibimbap places don't give you as much meat. But here, for the same price of an all-you-can-eat bibimbap place, I'm getting access to all this protein and additional side dishes. Everything tastes better when it's mixed. Definitely need all the energy I can before a long hike. I know that this isn't a dedicated pimpa place, but the ingredients are super fresh. I made the right decision to go with pimpa. Also got a side of this cool kimchi soup for that tangy spiciness. Oh, it's that refreshing sour oh, yeah. spicy flavor. Super delicious. I'm cleaning house right here. And going for a second. Jajang rice. I'm not sure if you're aware of jajangmyeon, but you basically put in rice and it tastes even more delicious. <laughs> Mm. The sauce is spot on, very thick and sweet. Mm. Some Korean pancakes. I'm gonna wash it down all with some traditional Korean rice drink. Mm. It's a sweet cinnamony taste. It's like the Korean horchata. All this for only 7,000 won. Definitely gotta check it out. Later. What's up guys, we are at Hoamsan, which is the first of three hikes we'll be doing here in Gyeongju. It's gonna be the easiest one, but it's by a really famous temple called Sokram. It is a UNESCO World Heritage Site. It's 6,000 won for admission, oh. and it's from 9 to 5. Unfortunately, we're a bit late to see it. The trail is to the right of the ticketing office. Reference, the temple is over here but we'll be hiking up to Toamsam. I heard that the roads were easy here, but it's a really steep climb, uh, about 45 degrees. Trust any Korean that says any mountain trail is easy. <laughs> we are quite impressed with the fact that this particular temple is not collecting money for us to enter the mountain trail. Further down south, 2.4 kilometers, you'll get to Pulguksa, which is a very famous temple. Now there are a lot of temples in Korea but I've been to that one about four or five years ago and I can tell you if there is a temple that you do want to visit it would be Pugusa. So there's a torch lighting area I think we for the Olympics. We're gonna go check it out. A little slight detour. <laughs> we thought he was a statue signifying the Olympic god. Looks like it's probably something that happened a while ago because the area around here looks a little derelict. All right, looks like we're at the summit. This was definitely an easy climb compared to the other ones, but the view is one of the best. I still like the one in Saroksan the most, but you get a nice panoramic view. That over there is Gyeongju City. This might have been like one of the easiest mountains we climbed but <laughs> the stone commemorating the summit is one of the okay. grandest. Tomorrow we'll be getting up early at 7 to climb this peak right here called Kumobong. You can actually see it from here. Looks like it's that little peak over there. It was a nice little beginner hike with pretty decent sights. If you're not up for something that's too stringent, I highly recommend that you Take a hike over here and come maybe earlier and check out the UNESCO site as well. Two hours later. Alright, we're going to Wegachip, 
very popular restaurant around here. Seems like everything is very budget friendly. So we got the pork belly turuchiki. Looks really good. The side dishes. Pretty standard. It looks super fresh. Yeah, yeah. This here is the large. It's 25,000 won. Should be perfect for the three of us. So the pork belly here is actually quite thin, unlike most other places. And they give you plenty of bean sprouts and green onions. Yeah. <laughs> the owner is super nice to us. She gave us a sample of the marinated pork to try for free. One of the best combos they have, it's only 8,001. If you come here alone, that's probably the best option. You get one of those, and then you get uh, bean paste stew and rice. Oh, it's so good. You get that very smoky flavor in there. Highly recommend it. I'll pin it in Google Maps like I do with all the locations. If you're around the area and you need a budget-friendly, very delicious place to eat, definitely check out Wega Chip. The next day. What's up, guys? Today, we're going to be climbing Palgong Mountain onto Pito Peak. It's located right next to an Air Force base. That's why you see plenty of warnings everywhere. And we saw even military buses. You can start further downhill, but we're going to take the easy way up after having taken the car up most of the way and we're located right here we'll be passing by the helicopter pad and up to Peter Peak can't miss it because there's a really nicely decked out area right here it should be about 1.6 kilometers we will also be passing by the sky garden see lots of people here even on a Tuesday afternoon Noticing some really unique looking flowers here. Very, very, very fluffy. Not that far up. But already a really an amazing view. That's not really Daegu. We're coming from the back entrance. But I already can see why they would call the top of this place Sky Garden. All right, so we're at an intersection. We could head over to the left to head to Sky Garden. We'll, we'll actually head over to the right for a slight detour. Okay, so instead of going down, I guess we're going to be going through this little jungle area. Okay, I'm not sure if this is the right way, but I know they know what they're doing. Ooh, look at this. <laughs> Almost like a Zelda-like ruin with a treasure chest over there. Interesting. I'll be walking to the right-hand side of it, though. Continue. Oh, wow. There's a nice little clearing right here. Whoa! Look at that. That. Uh, lots of little random trails, but we're just sort of heading consistently to the right, and all sort of seems to lead to the oh, yeah, same place. I'm just concerned that my hat is gonna get tangled up in here. There's actually a peak registered here. Wow, it's not recognized as one of those black yak ones, but we're taking a picture just in case they later approve it. It's super steep here though. Gotta watch out. This pine tree is super picturesque here. It's growing right out of this rock. Okay, we're back to the intersection. We'll be heading back towards Sky Garden, towards Pito Peak. So right up that place, they tell you you can't take any pictures. Uh, because it is a military installation, uh, but it's quite interesting. Just take my word for it, come over here. So, past the military area, but you still see a wall. But they've gone ahead and painted some really nice paintings on the side. And it's all the way up there. I'm guessing this area is safe to take pictures. It's obviously designed for people to take selfies here. But, uh really scenic all right so this is sky garden to the back of us is a military installation we'll be heading up that way actually you get a really nice scene there 
of the military installation, but I take, can't take a picture there. And they specifically say no drone or picture taking. We're gonna head back down to that picturesque wall and continue walking along that path. Looks like only 1.05 kilometers away. Again, really nice decks going up. Right behind us is a military installation, so I can only show you the view outside. I will say it's really interesting here. You can't take pictures of it, but take my word, it's really interesting. They got interesting radar looking facilities or something. It looks like a observatory. So interesting sights. So we've escaped the military installation and heading around towards that peak. So we're almost there. They say these are broadcast antennas for TV stations. Wow, this is pretty gnarly. Huge. Looks like these are over the air television antennas. And this right here is uh, internet. I don't know, Wi Fi or something. Because this is an internet company here. It's getting quite complicated, but you'll just sort of walk towards here, towards this tower, and then go around the back, and that should take us to the peak. And then a little forward, 0.1 kilometers. I think it's right up there. Looks like we're almost there. All right, here it is. The top of Paigong Mountain at Piro Peak. One of the tallest peaks we've climbed. Well, not really hard though. But it's definitely an interesting hike. Wow. They're like F-16s or something. Four of them in formation. Pretty cool hike. Just realize on the right hand side they got a, a rope. That's a hard course. The easy course on the left. Oh man. Just can't get enough of the Korea mountains. So far, everyone's been very unique. This one has a military telecommunications vibe. Yesterday was super historic. And before that, just a very natural trail. Loving hiking here in Korea. Let me know what you think in the comments below. We got little goats. They ran away on the way here. Don't run away. No! 